What's up guys? It's King Daddy D Mac and welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here on the Alpha Tribe server on the new Valgaro map, having so much fun doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thank you so very much for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness man oh man speaking of awesome last episode we got this most amazing and awesome dragon boss that's right we tamed it as a normal dragon and we evolved it into the beta dragon which is oh so cool i have been going crazy just farming as many creatures as i can or i should say just killing just a slaughtering as many creatures as i can to get this kill count up i'm almost at 1800 which is pretty sweet will leave us just a thousand kills left until we can evolve into the alpha i cannot wait it's gonna be so cool but it just takes such a long time to do but i'm doing it i'm doing it I want to try and evolve both this and the Dota Rex because we have a Dota Rex that's in the beta form too. I'd like to try and evolve them around the same time. So it should be pretty sweet. Definitely pretty sweet. But anyway, today, um, I kind of felt like taming something that a few people have been asking out for for a while. And that is the Ents. That's right, the Treants. I thought it would be pretty sweet to get a treant up in our collection, so why don't I go out on the hunt, see what we can find for today. Alright guys, I think I've located one. After a good long bit of searching, let's just make sure the area is safe. Oh my goodness, alright, come on, get out of here, fireflies. My goodness, so apparently with, they're called ironwood tree ants, and apparently you cannot tame the adults. Yeah, that's a thing. Ooh, you're scary. You're scary, bro. Those are passive, though. Um, you can only tame, passive tame, the babies, and they take the refertilizer. So, interesting, very interesting. Um, let's see, here we go. You can usually hear them from distance, just from that walking. Bam! All right, this shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna guess it's like three, probably, three or four. Let's see what it says. It says four, but I don't know. It might only take three. That did 40% effectiveness on the first bite, so we'll see. I don't know. It might make us wait a really long time before we can do it again. We shall see. Come on, get hungry, bro. Get hungry. All right, this guy's gonna be one of those annoying creatures that we're gonna have to wait a real long time so I will see you back once it's on its last bite all right guys finally I think this is it bada boom holy crap had to go down almost it was down to what 41 like 0.3 or something like that is ridiculous holy cow but you know what we got our baby so that's cool let's go ahead do behavior Oh, why is it still walking? Enable wandering, enable mating. It should be turned off. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. So what the crap do these things even eat? I really don't know, but I do know we need to bring it back to our base. So let me go ahead, put in the pickup matrix on it. Sweet, let's pick it up. Wow, that took a really long time. I, I honestly, Thank goodness, after, as soon as it took its first bite, and this is how most passive teams are, there's the first initial bite, then the second feeding takes forever. But once you get that second feeding done, it goes much faster. So, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Little baby Entwood. Oh, you're so adorable, look at you. Look at you, you're like a little baby old man tree. It's so funny looking. All right, so I got to figure out what these guys eat. I'm going to assume it's berries, but I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, How are we looking? Oh, I can always get the nanny to do the uh, taking care of. But geez, it starts from literally scratch on the uh, 
on the maturing once you tame it, but we did get a perfect level. So, you know, that's worth a something. That's definitely worth a something. Um, what else can I do? Let's do this just to heal up what we can. All right, so that's cool. All right, let me let me go find the B-Siri. Maybe we can read that. All right, guys. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to find another tame for today because this is going to take forever. Check this out. We're only at 4.8% matured, and it's been like probably 10, 15 minutes already it is going to take so long i'll read you real quick the beast area on them the ironwood and their titanic plant elemental creature harnessing the power of the earth they're gentle giants so they pose no threat to any living creature unless attacked dubbed ironwood ends due to their formidable size durability and strength they are formidable creatures when provoked many tribes hunt them for their resources because remember, these guys get black pearls, which is pretty crazy. So that's one big thing. But they are far more valued as powerful siege engines. Young Ents must be found within the thick jungles of the island and raised from to adulthood. It's a long process and it yields incredible results. Um, untamed adults, passive tame infants, so, or excuse me, untamable. You can't tame the adults. And then you saw we passive tame the infant. Adults give wood, thatch, and black pearls on harvest. Um, they eat feces, fertilizer, refertilizer, as well as meat, spoiled meat, and raw meat. Okay, so pretty much everything. And then the re-fertilizer is their kibble. Their extremely slow aging process, extremely high durability and high power, but very slow. Um, extremely high natural armor. Um, wood weighs only 1% of the normal weight when it's in it. Fi uh, thatch and fiber weigh absolutely nothing. Stone has reduced weight as well. Um, they're minorly weak to poison wyvern breath and lightning wyvern breath, but they're extremely weak to explosions as well as fire damage. Um, the left click does a double slash. It's slow. Okay, so we'll, we'll check out the rest of it once we actually have this guy fully grown but it's an interesting creature i'm definitely glad we finally got one but i think i can remember why now i've been putting it off for so long because it's pretty much a two episode deal um i do have the nanny working on him and the weirdest thing happened when i first tamed him there was no imprinting bar but i talked to the mod author and he says arc has some type of mix up sometimes all you got to do is unclaim him and then claim them again and then that fixes that problem in case you ever were wondering so pretty sweet pretty sweet indeed ironwood and i'm very happy to have it and come tomorrow will be fully grown so super sweet but there's not even a chance it's going to happen for today so that being said let's go back out on the hunt let's see if we can find something else cool um i don't know there's a lot of new stuff that is added in let me uh let me have a look-see around the server and just see. I don't want to get something too crazy since we already got the Ironwood N. But, um, yeah, something fun, something cool. We'll find something new. Whoa! This is what our Ent will look like, though, once it's fully grown. How awesome looking is that? Oh, my goodness, I can't wait. All right, guys, I think I found our tame. This thing looks awesome, totally awesome. It's called a Lesser Wyvern, and it is from the Dark and Light mod. So pretty cool. It is a knockout tame, and it takes one exceptional kibble. So not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, just stay still, bro. Um, Doesn't seem like he's aggroing at us. I'm sure he will once I shoot him, but hopefully he'll go down in one shot. All right, come here, bro. Bam! All right, and it's down. What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful thing. All right, so it takes exceptional kibble, the yellow one. So not the top of the line, but getting up there. Ooh, how many did it say? Just one, just one. Beautiful lesser wyvern. Ooh, you were a hungry, hungry little hippo, weren't you? You ate both of them. All right, so... What's your deal? I need a saddle to be able to ride him, so we can't just ride him right away. So, on that note, why don't we go ahead and toss all this shenanigans in him? 
Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Awesome. Um, let's go passive unfollow, and I'm gonna assume he eats meat. I mean, of course, it's it's gotta eat meat. So let's go ahead and give him some meat just so we don't starve, because he's a hungry, hungry little hippo. And pick up, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's head back to the base. Let's go make up that saddle. Yeah, and let's try out our new wyvern. I love it. All right, guys, we're back at the base, and actually an Ingram I didn't unlock yet. I was trying to figure out where I craft this thing, but it's done right in your inventory. So, wyvern. It's really not that bad. Not that bad to craft at all, if I can get the dang things to show up to let me pull them. There we go. Bada boom, beautiful. I'm gonna get this guy upgraded to max, um, which I'm gonna assume is gonna be 325, but we will find out if it's the same as vanilla or not. And beautiful. All right, let me get it the rest of the way augmented. All right, got the saddle and 325 was the max. Ooh, you actually get to see the saddle on it. That's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. That means that we might want to color it up. Ooh, this guy feels good. Feels real good. My goodness, should we go through and read the bestiary on him? Because I know he has one. Let me let me go check it out real quick. All right, guys, I found the bestiary. So pretty cool. Um, It says their habitat is in mountains, scorch mountains, and sanctuary city. They're a trank tame, and it says they're extremely skittish. It is said that lesser wyverns live their entire lives on wing, never touching the ground unless they feel like it. They're quick. They are arguably one of, if not the fastest flying creature ever known, combined with their decent combat prowess and one has a flying mount that is well-rounded for most situations. Um, tames, these wyverns are revered for their speed and versatility. They're, when they're wild, they're skittish. They flee when a survivor or other creature approaches. Usually, if attacked, however, they will become aggressive. Um, so that's pretty cool. So it's kind of like a Tapara, I guess kind of, except for they'll attack you if you attack them. Um, lesser wyverns regenerate stamina when they're not sprinting or diving mid-air. Whoa, does that mean they have a dive? That's pretty cool. Um, and their slam regenerate is the same when moving as when hovering. They're very fast in the air. Um, I wouldn't speed up more than 100%. In imprinting, you will regret it. <laughs> I can almost assure you that. Um, the left click is a bite with decent damage and good DPS. Okay, so that's a left click. Right click is an air grab when they're flying, and it does nothing while you're on the ground. So let's go in the air. Let's do that's again the bite in the air, air grab. Okay, cool. C is an acid spit. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's super cool. So Acid Spit. Spit is a brief acid projectile, costs stamina, and has a cooldown. This is the same as the Arthropleura breaking player armor. All right, interesting. Definitely interesting. Next question. Can I color this sucker? Because it is ugly. I'm, I'm going to guess I can't, but we'll never know unless we try it. So here we go. Ooh. Ooh, it definitely did work. It definitely, definitely did. All right, let's put this back on. Let me change. No, that didn't change the color. All right, near black. Let's go to that color region. All right, don't like that color. Let's go to the next one near white. Deep blue. Medium blue. I'm not even sure what that's changing at this point. That might be a color region that it doesn't work with it. All right. Next color region. No, not not a working. All right, next color region. Next color region. Oh, there we go. That did something. All right, vibrant purple. All right, so this is pretty cool. Darker green. It doesn't change much though. All right, I'm going to goof around with the colors for a little bit, guys. And get this looking super duper spiffy. Man, I think it looks beautiful now. Totally beautiful, so very cool. Totally love it. All right, let's go try this guy out. 
It's kind of funny. Look at how when he flies, he kind of bobs up and down. He's got the bite and we got a pickup. So it's kind of an interesting creature. It's a nice size. Now it said something about diving. Does it have, ooh, whoa, whoa, look at how fast this guy is. That is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. I really like this guy. I think he's amazing. All right, so now the question comes, yeah, it does not hit very hard. It doesn't hit very hard at all. What can it pick up? Ooh, that's pretty crazy. Could actually pick up a Parasaur. That's pretty nifty. All right, and we'll see what that Toxic Shenanigans does for damage. All right, ready? Oop. Oh man, it kinda, it's hard to shoot stuff. I gotta shoot something bigger. There we go. Wow, 188 versus 264. All right, so we definitely know we need to pump the crap out of the attack. I'm also noticing a lot of times I'm getting really low stamina already. So I think we probably need to boost the stamina. Now I'm gonna try the thing. Look at that, the stamina is regening when I'm just chilling here, so that's pretty cool. Definitely a pretty cool thing. Holy crap though, I need that health. All right, and it does eat meat, right? Yeah, definitely eats meat. Weight's pretty rough too. There's a lot of things, in a lot of ways it's almost like, I guess it's better than the Pteranodon, but only got 11,000 health, so that's definitely gonna have to be a thing. Do not have to touch speed. That is the one beauty. That's a lot of times is a huge waster of points. So we should be able to do a whole heck of a lot of melee, but at this point, I'm gonna be impressed if this guy is able to even hit for, you know, 5,000 once we're done. I would be floored if he actually can get that strong. Wow, 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 wow. Yup, ooh, this is scary, this is scary. Don't dismount me, please. Ah, oh, crap, and we went into the slow stuff. Get me out of here! Holy cow! It's neat though. I kind of wish I had a fire breath instead of this poison spit. But hey, it is a lesser wyvern, so what can you expect? And it said there's a cooldown to do the poison spit, but it really doesn't seem like there is much. Imagine if it could pick up the Bronto. How cool would that be? I had to try it, you know? I had to try it. Now, does it actually have, it said something about a slam. Does it do some sort of slam? I, I can't tell. Let me just look at it again. So it said the left click is that, the right click is gravel flying, grabs anything an R RG could, and then C cost Sama. Yeah, I don't know how you, it doesn't say anything about the dive bomb. So I don't know if there actually is a slam. I'm gonna assume that there isn't. That would be so cool if there was. That would redeem this guy. Maybe there isn't, I'm just not doing it right. But anyway, let me level him up for a good little bit and then we'll return and see if it gets much better. But either way, it's super cool creature. Totally love it. All right, guys, I'm over in the spider cave. Yep, yep, in the bug cave. And this guy is the perfect size for doing this cave, I, I do have to say. Um, Attack-wise, it really is pretty mediocre, but I'm getting up there. Um, uh, Most of the other boosts, though, other than attack, are tremendous. Like, you get really nice boost, Um, you know, for the size. Definitely so. We're gonna get so many levels here. Just look at the non-stop spam of these little bug dudes, of the little dragonflies. It is nuts. All right, do we have a second here? All right, come on, you dumb spider. So just to give you, oh wow, look at that. Yeah, this is gonna get us to max attack already. All right, so just to give you a feel, we're doing, I, I don't think we're gonna even make it to uh, 5,000. I don't know, it's possible, but it really doesn't seem that way. It reminds me about like the strength of like a vanilla raptor more or less, you know, or, or the Dinon, the vanilla Dinon. 
All right, so we are at max attack in one, two, three, four, and five. All right, beautiful. Let's get this stamina up a good bit more. Let's get it to the 10,000 mark. I did like that. Um, health, I'm already at 50,000, which is pretty crazy, and I'm at 2,000 on the weight, too. We'll bring the weight up. I think we're going to have the levels to do it. Beautiful, and let's get that health up even higher. All of these stats are, like... They're pretty beasty, in all honesty. These are some pretty beastly stats, definitely. So yeah, max attack, we're hitting for 3,632. So that's a little sad face. That's a little sad face, I do have to admit, but it's not the end of the world. Ooh, yeah, and the poison does even less damage, which is to be expected. It's a projectile. And it also has other cool features. Uh-oh, I gotta be careful I don't dismount right here. My stamina is awfully low. It would be nice if this guy could fly backwards. It definitely can. That would be huge. But what you gonna do? Um, It's overall, I, I think it's a pretty good mount. I like it quite a bit. But yeah, definitely, it could use a fire attack in my opinion. I think that would be way better than this stinking, this uh, little projectile thing. Anyway, we can get the crap out of this bug cave. We are definitely at that max level. So let's get on out of here. What's the time of day? All right, good time of day. I don't know why it's super dark in there today. Is there like a storm? Might be a storm, I do not know. But we are looking good, feeling good so very fast um and yeah i'm pretty comfortable on this guy like once again the stats are not insane but i mean it's pretty in line with a lot of the other wyverns with everything except for attack but that speed is just such a huge plus for him definitely now are you not eating oh it's because i was just in that cave you were starving me out bro starving me out and in all honesty, this really probably could be like a more or less like an RG. I'm trying to think what are all the things RGs can pick up. Can't pick up you, but I can pick up a Parasaur. Yeah, so it could be a great little tame helper. It's too bad that poison attack doesn't do torpor. That would make this guy super duper useful. You know, if you could do this poison attack to do torpor to guys. Yeah, that would be way better. But I guess it makes for a decent PvP mount because you're able to slam through the mount. So that's pretty cool. It's actually kind of fun doing this poison thing. Oh, it just, it really needs a backwards fly. That, and I think it should have a left-right strafe. But I think everything that flies should have that, you know? Oh, it's so cool. It is so cool. It, it looks just like a mini version of our larger, uh, what is this guy called again? He was a drake, right? He's got the similar type of horns. Look at the, look at the head. It's like it's my mama. Hey mama, how you doing? I'm having trouble landing up there, I don't know why. And it does decent, it's pretty slow when it's on the ground. It definitely, the air is the place to be. Definitely the air is the place to be. But it's cool, it's almost like a flying Drigger. You remember that guy? Our Drigger? It definitely feels like a flying Drigger, and it's real nice that it has the saddle too. And I like that you can actually see the saddle. That's not something you can commonly see. But this is super sweet. Let's just see other things. Let me pick you up. Oh, you're gonna be a pain in my butt, aren't you? There we go, look at that, I got a little Jerboa. That's so cool, so very cool. I just want to figure out if I can do a slam. It's not seeming like it. Not to seeming like it, but hey, it's not bad. Definitely, definitely not bad. I'm pretty pleased with it. And I really think, I mean, it could be a fun, somewhat uh, caving mount just because of how small it is as a flyer. Like the actual feel of size, it almost feels like a pteranodon. You know, but it's way faster. I can't believe how fast this is just with normal speed it's crazy nutballs yeah i'm digging them i'm digging them now if i dismount do i jump off or do i stay in the back let's find that out yeah you jump off oh i wish you stayed in the back 
You know what? It's more now feels to me like it's a dragon pteranodon. <laughs> you having problem problems pooping there, buddy, bro? He's a little constipated. He goes, don't mind me. It's so funny. Oh, oh my goodness, these beacons going up the butts of my dinos. What is with that, bro? They will not stop. Poor Griffin, he is just traumatized. He just had a beacon up his butt. Poor little guy. Let's see, how's our Ent doing? Oh, you wanna cuddle? What does an Ent look like when it cuddles? This is the question. I'm really curious, let's watch. Come on, cuddle. Oh, I think it did nothing. Oh, that's a shame. Look at that, only 16% done. But we are 42% done on the imprinting, so I'm pleased on that note. So, pretty sweet. Lesser Wyvern, I dig him. I think it is a super sweet creature. Definitely, definitely. If it wasn't so fast and if it didn't have the sore, I'd be pretty disappointed. But having that stuff and being this fast, that's pretty invaluable. I could see using this guy as a regular everyday mount over the Pteranodon or something like that. And I assume, let's see, if can we shoot off of him? Yep, you can shoot off of him. So it could replace the Griffin too. That is amazing. If it could only fly backwards and strafe, it would completely outclass the Griffin. And the Dodd Bomb would be nice too. Anywho, I think it's that time, guys. It's been a long, long day. Two tames and that end. Holy crap, it took forever. Forever. So why don't we go through the comments and let's go name those dinos. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments and yes, it is that time. That's right, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right, just remember, you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen you gotta be a subscriber so smash that subscribe button and you gotta comment down below it is just that easy anyway for today we have our beta dragon to name and i was a little unsure whether i wanted to go with a name that had blue in it or whatever because eventually it will be the alpha and will no longer be blue we could always rename it, but I saw this one name that definitely had reference to the fact that it was blue, but oh, it was one of my favorites, none other than Salamence. Yeah, you know, the Pokemon, it is perfect. He's a blue dragon, and I think that it fits oh so well. Definitely, it looks just like him. Totally, totally, so I had to choose it. Anyway, guys. Next episode, we gotta name our little lesser wyvern, and we also need to name our, ooh, look how big he's getting. You're getting so big. Oh, look at him. He's got such a funny face. And our tree end. So leave those name suggestions down below. But anyway, guys, till next time, thank you oh so much for watching been a pleasure as always show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness and as always guys i'll see you tomorrow thanks again and peace out